Hello, 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 brothers and sisters of the internet. This is the boy with the colorful background once again here to teach you about godly truths in under three minutes. My name is Andy, and I hope God has been so good to you just as he's been so good to me. Today, I'll be covering an interesting topic on a very controversial question that you've been probably asking yourself whether God is alive or a myth. Let's get started. Quick disclaimer, the following video is not based on the controversial religious teachings that do not follow the Trinity biblical teaching. Well, to be able to answer the question, we need to understand who and how God is. First, the who. God is usually considered the the highest supreme being who is the creator and who is also the source of our faith. The Bible describes God to us as God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit aka Trinity. If you want to know more about the Trinity, there is a video that I made that talks more about it. I link it up on the card. Now let's elaborate on the how God is. Based on a thorough research of the Bible, we understand that God is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent and omnibenevolent. Now let us unpack all these terms in order to understand more about how God is. Omnipotent. Omnipotent means that God has limitless power. His power cannot be measured or ranked. Omniscience. Omniscience means that God is all-knowing, omnipresent. Omnipresence means that God is everywhere at the same time. And the final word is omnibenevolent. Omnibenevolent suggests that God possesses perfect and unlimited goodness. From these four terms, we come to understand that God is different from us. God is living outside of space, time, and matter. That should give us an indication that the things that happen to us do not happen to God because he lives outside of space, time, and matter. Now I have a bonus tip for you, which is the age of God. How old is God? Well, based on the research that we've done so far, we can understand that if God is the creator, then he is older than the universe itself. You might be asking yourself another question. How old is this earth that we live in today? On the internet, I discovered that the earth that we live in is 4.5 billion years old. Now, I want you to try to imagine it. If the earth is 4.5 billion years old, how about the universe as a whole? And if the universe didn't just appear out of nowhere, was created by the creator, how much old do you think that creator who created the same universe is? It's mind blowing, right? By the way, guys, if you like this content, please do consider clicking that subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you get notified every time I post another video. This simple experiment should lead us to conclude that God has no age. God is ageless. God God is not dead, God is very much alive and will also be alive for a very long time. We are just a fragment in his existence. In a very conclusive and simple answer, God is alive and is not a myth. That concludes our tutorial today. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to ring the little bell and don't forget to leave a like and also comment below and tell me what you think of this. Please don't forget to check out my other video over here and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here. I love you guys so much. Bye bye.